Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, we're back on Quattro Colinas. We're going after red deer, trying to get that great one of any species, the whitetail or the red deer, before Revan Tulicos drops. So we're putting a little extra time in, hoping we can get it. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Starting out, looks like we've got two small guys. Nothing special there. Nothing over there. Let's take these guys down real quick. That was a good hit on him. Yeah, it was. That guy's down. Yeah, he'll go down here in a second. Let's go get him. Well, all right. At least they didn't get far from each other. We're coming up here on the first one, I believe this was the bigger one, the level six. Yes, it was. Scored 152.6. Was a. I was gonna say it was a male, obviously. Wait, 198.7. And this guy was the level five. Wait, 188.7. Scoring 125.1. Couple small guys to start. Hopefully we'll get get something a little bigger on the next few weeks. Well, here we got ourselves a level six and a level three that we won't be shooting. This guy's already going attentive. We don't need to be in the tripod just for him. And then over here we had another two. One of them we won't shoot because he's that small guy. We got this level six as well. We'll take down. I'm debating on starting to just shoot everything uh, that I can get rounds into simply because I'm starting to see a lot of these level fours or threes with a minimum weight estimate. Well, we just don't want to be shooting them. He's already attentive. Oh, alert. Around to be safe. I'm gonna alert because my wind was blowing right at him. I wasn't paying attention to that. But yeah, those small guys are a little, little frustrating to start seeing more of. I've been having very little luck on big things. We see some sevens here and there, and we see some eights here and there. But we've been pretty dry for a while, so we might start just shooting everything again. Well, and here's the one that was across the lake. He was 203.2, 170.6 is his score. Smaller guy, the other guy was just as small. Didn't talk while we picked him up, but we'll look at the codex real quick and know where I'm going. 175.2, basically the same. Jump over here and see if we have something big. Usually this is a bigger stag over here, so. Hopefully he stays big for us. Yeah, well, of course I had to say we usually have a bigger stag here and <laughs> it's a level five. So, no big stags here today. That is quite unfortunate. That's okay. Get this guy down. He'll ever go alert for me. There we go, attentive. Alert. Took one minute. Took him a minute. The rest of the herd went alert real quick. Fleeing way before he even went. Basically, we're fleeing when he went alert. That was uh, quite strange, honestly. Uh, here he is, level five, scoring 133.9, weighing 190.26 kilos. Uh, looks like another six here. And that guy is still a minimum weight, level three. Still gonna leave him for now. Maybe we'll start taking those guys later on. Maybe in the next run, I'll start taking out every stag. Go back to that method. We just are not spawning anything big by not shooting them right now. Well, and here, you know, 
Okay, I thought I saw one over there. Here he is. Level 6. 204.47, 172.5. Not quite our biggest yet. Well, there we go. That's a big looking boy. A level 9. 260 to 306. That is a very high estimate. Holy cow, that's a stud. This might be my best red deer yet. With an estimate that high. That's a big boy. Wow. Well, all right. Uh, this spot can produce sometimes for me. And thankfully today it did. We're going to check over here because sometimes maybe one of you can let me know in the comments. I'll get a random stag usually there and there. And then when I kill it, it takes like four to five runs before they start respawning back in there. I don't know if they go somewhere else or what, but they do come back usually. But we'll go ahead and take this guy. 260 to 306. Sheesh. Let's play it safe with a nice little double lung and the keeper dance again. Just get him down quick. Get him down. Wow. That's a big boy. Very, very big boy. We're all, uh, running. We got quite the jaunt around the lake. We'll get over there and pick him up real quick. Well, there he is, laying down, looking big, big, big. What a big looking boy. My biggest one so far is 264.8. Did we beat that? Did we beat that? 266.7. <laughs> we beat it. My biggest red deer to date. What a stud. Just an absolute giant. Wow. Just can't stay on that one, thanks. <laughs> Just a beauty of a red deer. Wow. I'm gonna taxi before I forget, because I've been having the issue of forgetting. Just a giant red deer. Alright. That's a new record. And hopefully that's continuation of things to come. Well, hard to go from that to this. We have a level four that we've been leaving alone for now. Then we have this level seven that is a recent respawn. He's alert because of my wind. Let's see if we get him with an instant drop shot. Yes, we can. Here's that level seven, a 182.9. Now, if only we can get a level eight, we would have five, six, seven, eight, and nine in one video and maybe finish it out with a level 10 hmm? one can hope well what's that <laughs> we did get a level eight so we have five six and seven eight for levels in this i mean technically we've seen three and fours we just haven't killed them but level eight with a level four there I mean, we might just get it. If we could get a get a level ten to spawn in on right now on this run. I just I'd be pretty ecstatic about that. Now if we can get these guys to go alert. Tenta, that one went alert. Should have snuck into a lung on him. We did. Okay. Pretty easy shooting on that one. All right, here is that. Was he four? Level four. So we have a four, five, six. Seven and eight down. This is a 121.7, weighing 186.64. The reason we took that one was because he was not a minimum weight estimate. Threes are definitely always minimum weight estimates, but fours can sometimes be that 180 to 210. So we'll take them. And here is our level eight. Just a stud level eight, 220, 222. 
Wow. 225.1, weighing 222.4 kilos. And check that. Yeah, that nine we killed should have been max weight. I was positive on that being that score. I'm curious though. That would be my first max weight if we did. I think I took some screenshots. At least you guys will know. Yeah, there's our level eight. Well, looks like we got a big seven and a very small three. That is sad to see. That is like a level two, level three. We do have that seven, which he isn't too bad. Probably do a quick double tap on the double lung. Or let's go for a heart shot. Yeah, let's go for a heart shot. Easy enough. We'll let that level three live another day. We had a level four here, and I ran that as my test. I shot it at level four. That was a minimum weight estimate. Just to see what would respawn. And, well, we respawn something super small. So maybe we won't shoot everything. Huh. What's your guys' tactics? What do you do when you're grinding something? Do you only shoot the bigger ones? Do you leave the minimum weight estimates? Do you shoot everything, including the females? I like all the other, I like hearing all the different tactics and how people think they're successful. Anyways, here's our level seven. 195.7, 212.8. Not symmetrical. I kind of like those that fork there. It would be cool if he was doing it here, too. Completely different racks. Still, not bad looking. Well, what's probably going to be our last spot? Looks like we're ending with a level 5. Let's see if we can at least get a nice heart shot on him. And we can. Usually I have two stags here, so I want to make sure none of them run out. I think he respawned as a hind, honestly. So he used to only have four hinds, now I have five. But hey, we got level five down. Jump over here and run down two of them and pick them up. Well, here is our little guy. He is gonna finish out our run. Level 5, 194.32 kilograms, scoring an even 143. Pretty symmetrical. Good looking stag for a small guy. I like that. Well, I'm going to run over to the lodge and get that a big old diamond set up. So I'll meet you guys over at the lodge. Well, I was planning to go to the lodge to set that up, but I have a zone... At least I thought I did. Over here. That I haven't discovered yet. Because I deleted a zone. Over here. And it moved over there. I saw him the last run. And I saw him as they were leaving the zone. But as I was coming, I saw all these guys. And well, we know that guy exists. We've been leaving him alone. But there's this guy. Small rack. So not as big. But two diamonds? And a level seven? I couldn't pass up not putting this into the video, so we're going to take them both down. Well, I tried getting that guy down where he stood. We didn't get that lucky, but we did get the level 9 down, two level 9s, and a level 7. This kind of makes me want to go around and check all the other spots now. Uh, here he is. This is a small looking guy. I'm not... 100%. Yeah, 253.1. Barely hits diamond. We did get another one. 232.33 kilos. That is two diamonds in one run. Not sure if this guy was technically a respawn off of one of the ones that we shot. We double lung and heart shot him from 219 meters. So that's pretty good. I'll take a heck of a shot like that. Let's go grab that seven, and then we'll go to the lodge like I was planning on. <laughs> and we'll wrap up there. Here is the level seven. Nice big guy. He scored a 202.1, weighed 215 kilos. Funky. Not symmetrical either. Funky looking guy. Right on. 
Well, yeah, guys. Um, now I will catch you over at the lodge. Assuming I don't notice anything else. Well, there he is, guys. On my wall, my biggest diamond to date. Surrounded by my second biggest. And then some of my other bigger 250s. But these are my two 260s. Beautiful, big a diamond red deer. And then our smaller guy that we got today, they're right at the end of the hunt. What a way to end. We put them right here. We're going to slowly make this just a diamond rack wall. And we'll get there eventually. Right now we have some sevens and eights mixed in. But we have our two diamonds here. We have a 255 and then our 253 from today. Slowly but surely this lodge is going to turn into just red deer. And mainly just diamond red deer. Unless I get a... Great one soon. This might just turn into a great one red deer lodge. But as soon as we get a great one red deer or a great one white tail, I am going to make an ultimate lodge where I take all my big tro favorite trophies, my big trophies, my diamonds, my rares, put them in one lodge and make it look pretty. And then give you guys a tour. A, a tour. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. What a crazy hunt. Was not expecting to find a diamond today, let alone two. It seems like the map is actually starting to hunt up because I did just get another diamond the run previous to this one. So pretty crazy to see this this guy pop up and then another one. Hopefully that's signs of a level 10 to come. But as always, guys, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that you get notified of more content coming your way. You'll be one of the first ones to know that I get a great one. And as always, share it with a friend. Hopefully that friend will be kind enough so that you can go enjoy a good hunt with a good friend. And I'll catch you in the next one.